Hello guys, welcome to Vetrix Home. In this video, we are gonna talk about the responsive CS score. We come in as media query, right? And this will be design, we'll be working on the responsive mode. So for this, you just gonna right click on the browser and select on inspect, right? And then you can see the browser changes into small size. If not, you can go on this button here, device toggle button and see toggle screen size so when you toggle on the screen size you can see there are a lot of screen sizes there on the top bar 320px small mobile then medium 375px then large mobile 425px then the tablet 768px then small laptop 1024 and large laptop at 1440px all right so when you go to the smaller screen size you can see the design seems perfectly almost perfect as we work on that just larger screen but to, to your knowledge I want to say that this won't be readable on small screens if the design is displayed like this so what you need to do is we're gonna add the responsive code in our de design a single file that's uh, ask the browser to calculate the device size device width and change the contents width equal to make the contents width equal to the device width all right so once we do that let's refresh it okay now you can see the design is readable all the texts are readable here so now we're gonna add the responsive code to make the layout as we want all right so you can see the social icons are a bit down if you look on the larger screen it's on the right on the same level but that won't be possible if you go to the smaller screen and only from 425 we can pull it up all right so we'll be looking at all the sizes screen sizes and let's change it a little bit and try and you can see in 420 it's gonna overlap right 410 you can see there's no space for it to come on top so let's go to 425 standard size and see we can pull it up all right so let's check out some of those things so what we'll do here is we'll put a size of 424 and up to 424 we'll pull it up on the left side right than the right side all right so what you need to do is go to the CSS. You can create a new CSS for the responsive code separately. But I'm doing on the same style as CSS. And we'll add, add media. Then on the bracket, we'll write max width 424px here. And then the curly brackets. And whatever we write in this bracket will affect only on those screen sizes that's defined there. All right. So go to the div there and ch make changes on the right side. CSS properties and it's the easiest way to make changes on the CSS right so you can see live changes there rather than writing here and going there and copy it in the CSS file and rephrase it we can even pull it up copying it all right now it looks good on 320 right and if you want to know there's no effects on the larger screen so what it really means is the width we define is responsive mode with add media tag that helps us to define a display that, that we want on the same design right so we can add any properties over here and here you can see we pull it up on the left bottom social icons then in smaller screens uh, a bit larger screens we can pull it on the right as well all right so we can pull it on the right and for smaller screens we can pull it on the left so let's make it on the right first larger screens than 374 okay let's change position into float and change the width right remove padding from the text and you can see it's looking nice right so when you go on 425 
Now you can see that's on the right at the bottom, right? And if you see on 424, it'll be on the left. All right, that's what we added on the CSS, right? And now in 425, uh, anything above from 495 we want it on the right because it's getting enough space there so we'll remove the properties change the properties and pull it a little up okay that's look good then we'll add the property 425 px min width that will not work on any width less than 425 yep right so let's have a look on other screens screen sizes that's landscape mode for the mobiles you can pick up any points here then a pixel down from the tablet size the standard tablet size is 768px all right so you can see the tablet size is good but the social icons on the top are not seen so you go here you know the properties that we added on min with 425px and you can see that right so what we need to do here is we don't need to add anything over here just any CS properties just define the range screen range from min 45 px to max 767px and that will work wonder for us yeah let's refresh it yeah you go and you can see everything's done here all right you can change the device size and see how it looks then you go with larger screens and check if everything's okay if not you can add changes and the basic way to do is first we define max width 320px that's the smallest screens dot screens right so after that for medium mobiles we can use max width 375px and define the range that doesn't affect the earlier code means main width will be 321px one pixel higher than the earlier code then we can go with 320 376 to 425 as well all right but if the design is not complicated we can just remove these two codes and add, add only one max with 425px let's add a little bit up up to 480 maybe so any device that's gonna be produced in the future will also same our design also same in those devices then we can go to the landscape mode for mobile and define max width 640px and min width will be 481 that doesn't affect the earlier code of 480 all right so we can go from there to the screen size that's one pixel less than the tablet size 641 to 757 all right and if you want universal code for all the screens that are smaller than a tablet you can directly create at media max width 767 and add properties over there all right and if you want bigger sizes define something for for the tablet sizes you can do with 768px minimum size and 991 for maximum and 991 and 1024 would be the desktop you saw in the early 90s and 2000s right and then you have got 1024 to 1440 that are the bigger bigger laptops all right so minimum 1025 will be the smaller laptops and 1440 will be the big laptops then this is the called as sm class for column division that we use and that helps us get all the designs perfect for any screen size that's bigger than bigger or equals to the tablet all right and that makes our work much easier so we can use only the second only these three media tags and media codes all right so that's all for today thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you